There are a few things that I make sure I do to make my tutorial intros sound cinematic every time. And so my friends today, I have decided to show you some of those things. Of course, there are a lot of things that you need to make sure they are in place to make any video introduction cinematic. But in this episode, we are going to focus on a specific area. We all know that you can actually manage the mood, the emotions of your audience through the background music. And by that, I'm trying to show you that even silence can suggest something. And of course, it all have to go according to the script. Now for this, I usually use more than one audio in the introduction. This actually shifts the focus of the audience, alright? The very first audio was to grab the attention of the viewer, setting them to expect something great. And once that is done right, all the following steps are going to be easy. I now fed into a cheering audio to make them even want to see what the introduction has promised them. Now you listen to the change of music in this video. Whenever a few more releases a new update, the very first question is how many new things are in there? Are they really useful? Well, my dear friends, this is the very reason why I have. Now, the second trick right here is to make use of the keyframes. Now, let me show you how. Now, you don't have to keep the volume of the introduction background music at the same level. That's not it. This is where you use keyframes to raise up the volume, where you kind of make a gap on your voiceovers. So this is basically going to make your voiceover and background music to blend together and bring out something very nice. And you can only do that through the use of the keyframes. Now let's move on to the second group of tricks that I usually use on the sound effects, all right? The very first trick right here, my dear friend, is the speed manipulation, all right? So when you select a sound effect, like in this way here, you go to the speed option right here. So as you can see right here, you can reduce or increase the speed of the sound effect to make it sound a, a, just a little bit different, all right? Now, still on the speed manipulation right here, you can actually use the reverse option right here to to reverse your sound effect right here okay like in this case right here as you can see without being reversed it sounds this way and after being reversed so i mostly use this trick when i i put on something on the screen and then remove it after some seconds all right so i just put it on with with the normal sound effect and then on removing it i make sure that i i reverse that same sound effect okay and now the second trick my dear friend is quite easy but very very useful and this actually is a uh, uh, doubling or tripling the same sound effect okay so like in this case right here my dear friend you actually realize that we want something that is got more impact than this sound effect and yet this is the best that we can get out of the software that we are using so what are you going to do now well my dear friend the simple trick is double the same thing or make them four or even five and sometimes it's not actually putting the one below the other but actually laying them in this way okay well my dear friends moving on to the very last tip and this actually is the very tip that a lot of people tend to forget well my dear friends when you move on to the effects tab right here you find out that there are effects that can be applied onto the audios all right and sometimes you want the sound effect to sound maybe with some echo okay there's no other way you could do that but actually by adding this effect all right or maybe just like a curve all right there is again no other way that you could do that but through using the effects but in many situations we we usually forget that okay well my dear friends these are all the tips that i have for you today on how you can actually make your own videos sound more cinematic by just by just twisting things around and at the same time you are twisting your audience in thank you so much for watching this video to this very point and if you'd like to see some more useful tutorial, check out one of these videos right here. And I will meet you there. Peace.